so today we are going to be installing extra passenger seats so they're going to come in the front uh, of the of the cab just just there in the, in the front of the kitchen and then we'll have a lagoon swiveling uh, table as well um, so to start off I'm just uh, attaching these legs so when we bought the seats these legs didn't come up with it so I need to just, uh, just you can see this this is uh, still loose so it's just a 13 millimeters uh, wrench and a thingy so uh, while Emma is doing that uh, I'm going to be cleaning these uh, front seats so we decided to try and keep these seats so they are or originally we were planning to just swap it out for one seater here but we thought if we make this a swivel seat it will make a nice kind of couch uh, towards the living room but also towards the open uh, large side door but yeah, um, first of all, I need to see if I can clean them because they are actually uh, really disgusting. Uh, one of the reasons we were planning on changing them. But yeah, I watched some videos on how other people do it. Basically, a lot of people use uh, just uh, dish soap water and really give it a good scrub. So I'm going to give that a go and, and see uh, how they turn out. Right, you join me under the car. So I've got this sort of plate where the screws need to go through. It's going to be quite hard to see, but here is the plate. So I've placed it here where it needs to go, and then the holes are here and there. So now I've marked where the screws need to go, and now I'm going to drill a pilot hole from underneath the car. Then we'll go inside and then we'll finish drilling from inside. So now that we've made the pilot holes, um, you can see here um, there's a pilot hole and one there. I've got the, the bigger drill bit now and uh, so we're going to drill out, drill all the holes and then we'll be ready to put the seat in.
now that we got the seats fitted, the final part is to add uh, the screw down these uh, 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 bottom cushions. So I'm going to do that now. So today we finished putting in the, the back seats. Um, so just to walk through, so this this uh, these seats that we bought, you you'll see a link, but uh, it all pretty much came in the, in a packet. One thing we had to buy is 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 the screws. Uh, we needed a longer length, um, the M10 uh, screws, um, because we have the, the the insulation, so it adds like um, I don't know five ten centimeters. Um, extra so so we we needed longer screws so at first um, we had to measure out where we need to drill the holes so we, we've got a exhaust coming here so we missed exhaust so we went past it and put the, this plate um, after the exhaust so that's how we measured and that's how we started and uh, so drilled four holes put it in secured the legs and again four holes on the other side and then the seat on top and um, yeah that's about it there's a lot of measuring to do to, to, to make sure you get it right because underneath the car underneath the van there's uh, there's like these braces that you have to miss and you have to get it just right all right so I finished uh, cleaning the seats um, at least as much as I could and they almost look like new I'm so glad that we gave this a go so I tried a few different things just to see what worked and uh, yeah, what I found worked really well was using, uh, I just used a multi-surface cleaner. I spray it quite a bit on and then used a toothbrush where it was really dirty and just scrubbed quite a bit. Um, then I would hoover it up. I used a hoover that, uh, is, that you can use with water. Uh, so then afterwards, once I hoovered, that, hoovered all that up, I would use just plain water and kind of almost soak it uh, with that. And, uh, and then hoover that up and I did that a few times because using that hoover just kind of got all the dirty water out. So um, I haven't done the sides yet um, and the head uh, rest. I'll do all of that once we are taking them out to do the swivel seat. So yeah, that's everything for today's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.